Hey folks, I'm Captain Kevin Favor here, and I want to talk to you about pure fishing equipment. And when we think about pure fishing equipment, the first thing that comes to my mind is reliability. And you're thinking, okay, why do you need reliability? Well, I have three really cool jobs. First and foremost, I'm a charter captain. Second off, I have a national radio show and a national TV show. So if I have equipment that I can't depend on, well, obviously I'm not gonna use it. It was my dad who really got me into fishing and, and it was interesting because he liked to fish, but I think that there's, there's different people out there that, that like to fish and then there's people who take it to a different level. And once he got me started, it was on from there. The only thing that I ever wanted to do in my entire life was fish. And my dad would take me in the intercoastal waterway. We catch trout and reds and, and that just got old to me. I'm like, dad, man, I want to catch a big fish. And he introduced me to a very good friend of his who was a charter captain out of Jacksonville, Florida at that time. His name was Mike Scanlon. And Mike Scanlon's the one who took me from the time I was 11 years old up until he passed away a few years ago. And he's the one who taught me how to offshore fish. And, and I've taken all of his ideas throughout these years but it was always amazing to me that every piece of equipment that Mike had was, was all pen equipment. And obviously when you grow up seeing how Mike trusted that equipment, um, I, I've never had any problem using obviously pen equipment. Now it's different now, obviously we have, you know, spider wire, ultracast braid that we can put on spin, spinning reels. Um, and you know, we, we used the four aughts with 40 pound, 50 pound mono at the time, simply for the fact that we had to have something big enough to put all that line on. And it would be really cool to be able to see Mike's reaction now that I'm using a pin battle spinning reel 5,000 and a legion rod to catch tarpon. You know, when I got into fishing, I think I got started just like everybody else. I fished in the little backwater creeks and I would literally steal my grandmother's straight pins and, and uh, bend them into a hook and use worms, dig my own worms, catch my own crickets. And, and then as I got older, I started doing a lot of the backwater fishing and, and I've used every piece of equipment that you could possibly imagine. When I started fishing offshore, I mean, I, I wanted to catch big fish. I wanted to catch sharks. I wanted to catch tarpon and, and, and I needed a reel. And I'll never forget when I was 13 years old, the very first reel that I bought was a pen 309 level wind and at that time they didn't make braided line they made a daiquiri so i used daiquiri on it and i had that pen 309 and just absolutely wore it out and as as it got older i started using the pen 113 h's and that's what we used especially here in northeast florida that's what we used for for all of our tarpon fishing and to this day i still have some of those pen 113 h's that I used when I was like 18 or 19 years old. And I still use those on my charters. That was 28 years ago. I still use those pen 113 H's on my charters, bottom fishing or tarpon fishing. And then I get the comment all the time. This happens to me all the time. Well, of course, Captain Kevin, that you're gonna say that because you're on the pro staff for pure fishing. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Here's an example. If I'm shooting a TV show and I start talking about a certain rod and reel that I'm catching these fish on, and you go out and spend your hard-earned money to buy that equipment, and all of a sudden you get it on your boat and you get a big fish on and it completely fails on you, okay, that's gonna come back on me. That's not gonna come back on the equipment manufacturer, that's coming back to me. You're gonna quit watching my TV show, and then my ratings are gonna go down, and then my sponsors are gonna go away. But, if I talk to you about a pin battle spinning reel and a legion pin rod, I know that I can trust that equipment to not fail. So if you go out and buy this equipment because on my recommendations, I can promise you that I trust pure fishing equipment and you should too.